Namely, what we're going to be covering today uh, in this video, I, I don't think it'll be too long, is I'm going to show you how to use a decentralized exchange. We're going to be using Spooky Swap. Uh, this is Spooky Swap right here, and we're going to be doing this. Uh, this this is on the Phantom network. So, the great thing about Phantom is that all transactions take about one second to be final. So when you execute a transaction or a smart contract, it's almost instantaneous how fastly it get, it goes through. And then also the fees on Phantom are extremely low, which you're about to see. Actually, you're about to see all this stuff. So uh, why don't we start out by doing a simple swap here on Spooky Swap. Uh, this is like the main decks on phantom right now also also before i get started if you are on ethereum or binance chain or or binance binance smart chain uh you can bridge over to phantom using their bridge right here so you would just like choose which network you're coming coming from and then choose the uh choose which token you have that you want to bridge over to phantom and then you know you'd obviously have to connect to your metamask and everything uh and then and then if you're doing it from Binance, apparently it's not too expensive, but from Ethereum, I think it's like 15 bucks maybe to do it because you have to pay the uh, Ethereum transaction fee. But then once you get over here to SpookySwap uh, or over to Phantom, it's much, much faster and cheaper. So now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's start off with SpookySwap. Uh, the, here, I'll drop it in chat. I don't really have a good way to show you guys actually, do I? And just drop a text on there. I think I can. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna see if I can drop a text uh, link so you guys can all see it. Uh, create new. All right, there we go. Spooky swap. I uh, hope you guys can see that. And then let me, uh, yeah, it looks like you guys can see that. Great. Okay, now let's get started. So we're here on Spooky Swap, and this is the home screen right here. It shows you some information about uh, the current TVL. This is, uh, these are assets that have been deposited onto uh, Spooky Swap. Uh, they are not locked, even though it says locked here. The, the term is TV, or total value locked. This is the term used on all DEXs and other DeFi platforms. Uh, it does not mean the value is locked in. You can remove it at any time on SpookySwap. There are other, other decentralized exchanges where you have the option to lock funds for some benefits. And the reason a decentralized exchange might do that is because they want to ensure that over a long period of time they have some safety they know that people are going to that are, people are investing in them long term and that helps them plan ahead of like uh, plan into the future but for spooky swap that is not a, they they don't do that so even though it says total value locked it's not locked in there it's just it's just been deposited you can remove it at any time uh, market cap here is just the total uh, current circulating supply times the price and you can see the price up here so one uh, spooky swap or one boo token is right now it's nineteen dollars and forty one cents and that equates to around twenty point eighteen uh, phantom uh, and then you can see the circulating booze right here uh, so let's go down into the swap and Uh, yeah, yeah. Some someone was saying that it's a little stuttery. Are you guys doing okay? Are you, can you hear me all right? I know my internet here is not the best, but I'm hoping to be able to get across to you guys anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go ahead. You guys can give me some pointers in the chat if there's any issues. Uh, so let's let's get started. So we have um, our swap page right here. So the way a swap works is there is a pool of liquidity uh so someone for instance uh, we're, we're gonna do it pretty soon here so you you can if you have phantom token and or coin and you have a uh, boo token you can okay good 
you, you can uh, deposit both of these into a liquidity pool and provide them as liquidity for other people to swap with. So when I say I want to, I want to sell, I want to sell ten phantom. Uh, this is how much boo I'm gonna get for it, and this is gonna send ten phantom into the liquidity pool, and it's gonna take out this much boo from the liquidity pool and give it to me. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do fifty. Uh, I'll do like forty nine. 48 this would be safe i'll do 48 tokens so we're gonna sell we're gonna sell or swap uh 48 phantom tokens for uh 2.37409 uh boo tokens so let's go ahead and do that you guys can see how fast it is so it'll open up your uh it'll open up your uh, let me just check my ob my stream to make sure you guys can see that great so you can see my metamask that's good uh, so I'm just going to accept this transaction here. Oops. There we go. So I see my transaction. It tells you how much the uh, swap fee is going to be. The swap fee right now is 0 0.0167 Phantom. So in Phantom, which is like 98 cents right now, that's like around... It, it's, it's about... 1.67 cents which is like really small for a swap on ethereum a swap right now i think it's like 125 dollars just to swap and it doesn't matter how much you're swapping so this is kind of a big deal how cheap it is so we're going to go ahead and do that click confirm and you'll see pretty fast here it should show up in the top right corner that it has gone through there it is so my swap is complete it's very fast on phantom and once we have it, so now we have uh, 50 uh, phantom tokens and 2.4 boo tokens. So now the next thing we can do with this is we can go and deposit it into a farm. Or actually not into a farm yet, we can deposit it into the liquidity pool. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's go over to the liquidity page down here. And we can see that you, you can choose which assets you want to add. Um, we're gonna do Phantom and Boo since that's what we got in this wallet. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna add, um, so, oh yeah, yeah, I guess I should say this. You have to have 50% in each coin. So if you have a little more of one of the tokens and you have to do the amount of the, the full amount of the smaller token, or however much you want, I guess, it doesn't have to be the full amount, uh, and you have to evenly match it in value with the other token for it to be accepted into the pool. So I'm gonna send all of my Boo token in and then 48.9 of my phantom tokens. And when you're using, this is something we should cover is if, if you guys are new to, uh, if you guys are new to using decentralized finance or uh, I guess any kind of dApp really where you're using a token, uh, you're gonna need to approve the contract to use your token. So I have the token, but I need to say, okay, uh, Spooky Swap is allowed to use my token. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And again, it's going to make me sign a transaction here. It's going to make me pay a very small fee for that. It's less than a cent. It's approving. It's been approved. Now I just need to wait for it to say supply. Okay, now I'm going to supply them. So I'm putting them into the liquidity pool. Uh, once again, we have another transaction we have to fill out here. And we have another fee we have to pay, but the fees are very small, so it's, it's not too bad right now. It's like, this is like a, I don't know, what is this, like 2.8 cents or something, almost, maybe a little more. All right, there we go. Wait for it to confirm. It'll say in the top right corner here. There it goes. So our coins are now in the liquidity pool, which means that when other people go to swap, they are gonna be using my coins along with everyone else's coins in the liquidity pool uh, to swap. And because of that, I am gonna earn fees on those swaps. So when you do use a swap, like we just did earlier, uh, there's a 0.3% fee uh, commission on your trade. And when you receive, or sorry, so when you do the swap, you have to pay the 0.3% fee. And then obviously if you're doing a lot of the token, there might be some slippage involved. So you have to be careful not to send, not to swap too much all at once. Or if you, you want to swap it all at once, make sure you're doing it in a pair that has uh, sufficient liquidity uh, for you to swap in with, without too much slippage anyways. 
Uh, all right, and now that we've got it in the liquidity pool, uh, you can actually see your positions over here. If I click my potions, it's like my liquidity pool positions, and it'll show you. Uh, so this number here is the number of LP tokens that we have received for depositing our liquidity into the pool. So the way that works is I have deposited my Phantom and my Boo into the Phantom Boo liquidity pool. And in, uh, in return for doing that, they give me an LP token. And the LP token is like a placeholder saying that, yeah, I have this much value from the pool. And so if I want to, uh, if I want to like take my funds back out of the pool, I have to deposit, I have to give them back that LP token. So it's very important that you don't trade or send your LP tokens to anyone uh, because once you don't, once they're gone, uh, you can't get your funds back out of the pool. So yeah, don't, don't do that. Just, just hold on to them or put them into a farm or a vault somewhere where they're earning uh, rewards uh, optimally. But yeah, yeah, don't trade them or send them to anyone else. That's not a good idea. So let's go on to the next segment. Uh, so now we have our coins, our, our token and our coins in the uh, liquidity pool. We can do the next stage is called farming. So we have the LP tokens, uh, which say that we have deposited funds into the liquidity pool. And we can take those LP tokens and deposit them into a farm. And this is, these are the farms. So depending on which pair we did, we get a, a certain LP token that corresponds with the pool that we deposited into. Uh, so we deposited Phantom and Boo, so we're gonna get, we got the Phantom Boo LP token. So we can go to the pool and we, oh yeah, we have to approve our LP token now. We have to say, yeah, you can use our LP token. So let's go ahead and do that. Now wait a second. Uh, did it go through? Still going. I think my, right now the uh, it's possible that the network is getting a little bit congested at the moment because of all the people using it right now. Because I, I'm pretty sure it just uh, Phantom just broke through a dollar. So I'm sure a lot of people are trading right now. So it says it's been submitted. Oh, there it goes. So it's been approved. Okay, I'll try to use a little more gas next time um, to make it go a little faster. I mean, the gas doesn't cost like anything, but it still matters. It's still used. Uh, okay, so we've approved the contract, and now we can go into the contract and stake our LP tokens. So we have 10.566 blah, blah, blah uh, LP tokens, and we can stake them in there. I'm going to boost this up just a little bit so we don't have to worry about... Let's do 88. It's taking too long. Still waiting on it. There it goes. It's been it's it's through. Okay, so sometimes so some sometimes it'll take a little time for the website to read that the transaction's gone through, and that is not due to Phantom. That is due to the uh, I'm pretty sure it's due to Web3 or MetaMask, and I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. But here we go. So we have our coins in the liquidity pool, and we got our LP token. Uh, in return for putting our coins into the liquidity pool. And now we are staking the LP token in the, uh, in the farm. And because we have done this, because we staked our LP token in the farm, we are now earning this much in uh, AP, APR uh, for the next year. This is, this is basically telling you how much, if you, if you leave your position here, uh, at the rate that it's currently accruing, you'll make about 110% on what you deposited in one year. So there you go. We just I just showed you guys how you can make over 100% uh, by staking these two tokens and, and then staking the, L, the LP token into the pool. Now the reason that, or the way this is split up here, it'll show you that the earned fees on the 
uh, for the LP token that we've deposited into this farm. Uh, or, or sorry, sorry, the, the farm APR. This is These are the rewards that we are being given because we deposited our LP token into the farm. That's 102.51%. And the reason it's so high is because they want to incentivize people to uh, deposit the BOO token into uh, into the liquidity pool so that there can be liquidity pool, uh, liquidity for their token. Uh, and then the 7.56% is the amount of fees uh, that the pool earns each year. So because we have them in the liquidity pool, we're earning about 7.56% on other people swap swapping fees. Uh, some of these other farms, so if you decide to provide liquidity to a different pool, um, you can get a different, you would get a different LP token and then you would be able to deposit it in one of these other farms. Notice how the fee, or sorry, the uh, rewards are different for every pool and so are the fees that each pool makes. So usually the stable coin pairs or the Ethereum pairs uh, tend to have really high uh, transaction volume. So a lot of people are swapping between USDT or USDC and Phantom. And because of that, they have a really high uh, fee that they generate. So you'll notice that even though they're only making 59.2% uh, in rewards, so they're only being incentivized by the protocol, by, boot, uh, by SpookySwap uh, with 59.2% in uh, rewards they they are making 80.76 percent in swapping fees over the course of the year which is a lot uh, so th there's a lot of fees being generated and there's not there's only 20 I know it sounds like a lot but uh, for how much people are actually using these uh, liquidity pools 22 million or almost 23 million just isn't enough to be able to satisfy the demand and that's why uh, the, you can you can make so much by being an early uh, staker in this pool, uh, and that goes for all these other pairs too. So if you decide to deposit for, um, let's say, Phantom and Bitcoin, uh, this is how much you would make in rewards, and then how much you would earn in swapping fees. And so you earn both of those together, and that's how you get this total value here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna stop and take a little break and see what you guys are saying over here for a minute. Before we get on to the next part. Okay, so the, the APR, uh, it does change over time. The uh, emission, emission schedule for the BOO token goes down over time. So you're going to be incentivized less and less over time to provide liquidity to these pools. Also, as more people provide liquidity to these pools, because you can make so much fucking money right now, um, the amount of money that you specifically will be able to make by depositing into the pool will go down over time because everyone's competing for the rewards. So, uh, it's it, you get you get a pretty big benefit by being early in in this game. Um, let me see what other questions you guys have. Yeah, so you, yeah, I'll show you guys in a minute how to get profits every month. So we, we've already accrued. You can see it's been stacking up. We've got like 0. 0.00005 boo token for the like $198 that we deposited. Uh, so you can click harvest and take these out of the pool. Oh, sorry, out of, out, of this, out of the farm. The farm is basically generating rewards for you right now. And if you want those rewards, you can take them. You just have to go up here and click confirm. I'm gonna reject it for now because we don't need to do that right now. I'm gonna take them out in a second anyways. Uh, and then you'll earn your rewards and the rest of your LP tokens will remain in, in the farm. But I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to use. Well, well, let me let me let me read a couple of your questions first, and then I'll go on to how to use. We're gonna cover using vaults next. But but yeah, that's how you collect your rewards. 
Why is USDT and Phantom Marriage token APR higher than Boo and Phantom? Uh, so the rewards you're being paid for the for using the farm are higher in the the Boo Phantom pool. So you can see like you're earning 102.49% uh, over the course of the year. Uh, you're, you're getting paid that in Boo token because of the Boo inflation. Uh, that's not, those aren't fees that you're earning. Th those aren't swapping fees that are being generated. You'll notice that the swapping fees being generated, the earned fees APR is significantly lower. Uh, so what they're doing here is they're trying really hard to incentivize people to provide liquidity to the phantom Boo token pool because they want there to be liquidity for the asset on their exchange or of their exchange. Uh, and then if you go over to the uh, the stablecoin phantom pair, you'll notice that the actual rewards you're getting from the Boo token being uh, in inflation is only around 60%, a little bit below that, 59.48. Uh, however, the swapping fees are much higher because uh, people are using the pool to swap much more than they are using the Phantom Boo uh, token pool. I hope that answers your question. Uh, next person. Uh, I'm not gonna go over impermanent loss in this video because it's kind of, well, may maybe I'll cover it really quickly, but it I'm not gonna get into the mathematics of it. Uh, so if you deposit, so, so when you initially deposit into the liquidity pool, you have to do 50% of each token. Uh, so they have to be an equal value that you deposit into the pool. Uh, say one of the tokens goes up like 100%. Um, so th the problem here is that if you didn't put them in the liquidity pool, now the total value of the token that went up 100% would be twice as much as the value uh, of the other token that you put in or that you would have put, put in. So the issue is when you put your tokens into the liquidity pool, they have to be equal amounts. And when you take them out of the pool, they will be equal amounts. And the reason is because when someone goes to swap, they are depositing one of the coins in and getting the other coin out. So whenever someone swaps to from one coin to another coin, the coin that they're swapping to is gonna go up in value and the coin that they're swapping out is gonna go down in value because of the way the pair works. It's a little confusing, but uh, basically, if the um, kind of just an overview is if the ratio of the price of the two coins that you deposit into the pool changes, then you will either make less money if they're going up in value or you will lose money because of impermanent loss. Uh, I recommend that if you're if you're getting serious about this stuff, you should go and check it out. Uh, like on YouTube or something and watch a detailed video on it. It kind of takes a little while to wrap your mind around. Uh, I, I also recommend maybe uh, trying to mess around with uh, a decentralized exchange, like doing what we were just doing here, uh, doing it yourself, maybe with like a, a small amount of money uh, and like seeing how it works and then go in and watch the impermanent loss videos because it would just be confusing if you didn't have context. Is there a fee to pay for harvesting? Uh, no, there's not. Um, I don't know of any decentralized exchange where you have to pay to harvest your rewards. However, some will have a fee for withdrawing your funds. I, I don't particularly see the point of that. I, I, I mean, obviously they're trying to make it seem like if you get in early, you will make money off of people who come in later, but that's kind of Ponzi scheme-ish. And I don't particularly like that. So I actually just don't use uh, decentralized exchanges that have mechanisms where you would be disincentivized to leave unless, it's, unless there's a reason for it. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of go over something pretty soon here that will explain why there might be a reason for for doing that but it's not it's not a lot it's just like it's like 0.1 percent or something all right uh let's move on we're gonna go cover vaults now uh i have a uh all right for, first i have to take my coins out of this uh farm 
And you'll notice that, well, actually, geez, Phantom must be going up quite a bit because it's already, we got $100 now and we only deposited like 97 or something dollars. Uh, also, you, you'll notice that the amount of Boo tokens that we've had, that we've earned since we deposited our LP tokens into the pool has gone up. You can see it like creeping up slowly. If you have a lot of money in the pool and you're earning this kind of APR, that's like 1%. Uh, you would make 1% like every three and a half days or something. It, it's fast. That's a lot of money coming in really quickly. So say you add like $100,000, for, for instance, in this pool, split between Phantom and Spooky Swap. And let's say hypothetically that both of the tokens did not change in value uh, at all. Then over the course of just three and a half days, you would make over $1,000 just from the rewards and the uh, swapping fees, which is kind of ridiculous. And that's how you're able to make so much money here. So over the course of a year, you would make, if you had $100,000 deposited and the rewards stay the same, I know that's kind of a big if, uh, I mean, there's always gonna be new decentralized exchanges. So being on top of this stuff and trying to get to the new ones, the good ones early uh, can be very lucrative. Um, but I think I'm getting a little bit off track here. Uh, so, so why don't we just go ahead and unstake these. So we're gonna unstake our tokens from the, uh, from the farm. These are the L LP tokens that we're unstaking from the farm. And when we unstake, we're also going to harvest the Boo token that we've, um, that we've earned for staking in, in this uh, farm. So let's unstake. We're going to do maximum. So this is going to take all of our LP tokens and any rewards out of the pool. Confirm. And we got to wait a minute. Well, it shouldn't be a whole minute. It should pop up pretty soon here. Although I've noticed the fees have gotten a lot higher since we uh, started this video. Uh, I think Ph Phantom's up to like a hundred, sorry, one, one and one dollar and like five cents now. So it's really going up. Did it go through? It's pending. All right, it went through. So now we have our LP tokens back. If we wanted to, we could go back to the uh, liquidity pool section and withdraw our coins from the liquidity pool and then we would have our coins back but I don't want to do that yet so the next thing we're gonna do is check out uh, what a vault does um, so you noticed how when we were in the farm um, it was accruing uh, the boo token it was going up very very slowly and that's great uh, and you can actually harvest, there was a harvest button there where you can claim your awards. And then if you want to, you can, so you claim your awards, which is just, uh, you would get LP tokens in um, like new LP tokens, I believe. And then you could go and withdraw, actually, I don't know if you get LP tokens or boo. You might just get boo. I think you just get boo. Uh, so you, you would receive boo uh, as a reward and you could harvest that if you want and then go sell half of your boo into phantom and then add them to the pool again so that you can compound your um, compound compound your gains uh, over and over again so let me try and explain that again a little easier so let's say you make one percent every week uh, and every week you have to go in and claim your awards and sell half of them into Phantom and then add them to the liquidity pool again and then add your LP tokens to the farm again so that you can earn more uh, faster so that you can have 101% uh, in the pool uh, compared to what you started with. Uh, that sounds like a lot of steps and it is and it's kind of a pain in the ass if you do this for long enough. So there's a solution to that. Uh, you can go use a vault. So I'm on reaper.farm right now. Here, I'll add that one to the, uh, if I can figure out how to do it really quickly. I will add that to the, um, to the stream. Well, that's not gonna do it. Um, OK. 
Okay. All right, there you can see that. Uh, so that's the URL I'm on right now. And now that I've already connected my wallet and we already have our LP tokens, they're not in a farm right now, they're just hanging out. Um, and we're, we need to put them to work because we could be earning 110% in the farm right now, but it's not in the farm right now. So we need to go find something to make money off of that with. Uh, so you can go to a vault, a third party vault site. This is reaper.farm, this is the one I've been using. And you can search for your pool. Uh, so we have the FTM boot uh, LP token and you can see our LP tokens right here. Uh, so we can go ahead and add these to the pool. Uh, so we need to approve, we need to say, okay, this contract can use our tokens. So let's con confirm that. And you'll, n well, I, let me go ahead and do it real quick and I'll explain why these rewards are so much higher than they were on the other page. So it's like 110% on spooky swap but if we take the lp tokens and instead of depositing them on spooky swap uh in the farm we take them and we put them in the farm over here uh, well here it's called the vault or actually i think on this site it's called a crypt but uh, on a lot of other sites it's called vault a vault uh, so we're going to take all of our lp tokens and deposit them all right confirm All right, uh, I think, no, it's still going. Yeah, it seems like the uh, network's pretty backed up right now just because of all the new people using it. Uh, it will get better with time. It's just, um, I think the sudden, just how sudden it is. Like every time Phantom pumps like 15%, everyone jumps on it really quickly. Still waiting on it. Just gonna let it go. Let me see if you guys have any questions while we wait. Uh, yeah, ta taxes are going to be a massive pain in the ass, but you can't make this kind of money anywhere else. If you try to go to a bank and deposit your cash right now, you take like, you, you, you're happy if you can make 0.1% interest over the course of a year on your deposit, uh, which does not outpace inflation, not even close. Inflation is going to be like, okay, the recorded inflation is going to be like five percent this year which is uh consider like considering it's usually around two percent is very high and that's not even showing you how much the prices of assets are going up which they have been going up a lot so uh yeah it's pretty much useless to take your cash and put it into a bank right now into a savings account but you can do you can take your cash and buy stable coins and then um, put them on these decentralized exchanges and provide liquidity for their pools and make like a hundred and like 50% a year um, So there's like no point in using a bank anymore when you can make this kind of money staking your uh, staking your uh, Cash instead well, it's not really cash anymore. It's just coins, but That looks like it's taken a while Why don't I go ahead and speed it up? Yeah, look, it was like, it was like, what was it, 50 when we started or something? Now it's 150, geez. All right, I'll go 200. I know it's like 30 cents. Usually I don't pay this much, but I want to speed it up for the video. Uh, usually it doesn't cost this much. It's just because uh, Phantom's breaking out. Can I also show this for Avalanche? Um, I'm not gonna do it for Avalanche today. I'm not set up for Avalanche right now. Um, at least my, my wallet isn't set up for Avalanche right now. 
all the all the links for the sites are up at the top uh right now i'm on reaper.farm and earlier i was on spooky swap that finance slash swap okay it finally deposited so let's go ahead and uh so, sometimes the ui will take a little time to update but it has been the de deposited so we just need to refresh say we want the spooky swap fault and still waiting to refresh now we know that it's been deposited already because we got the uh wait wait was it yeah, we deposited, so it's there already. It's just we're waiting for the UI to show up to say so. And it's still waiting. There it is. So it's in here now. It says we have zero LP tokens, and that's because they've already... Oh, wait, this is wrong. Wait. Here we go. So it says our LP tokens have been deposited into the FTM Boo Spooky Crypt, which is what we did. Uh, and we're going to be earning this much uh, in rewards now in total for our deposit. And so the reason this is so much higher is because every time we earn uh, rewards, uh, this so the way this site works is it will take the rewards we've earned, sell half of the rewards into Phantom, and then uh, turn like deposit those into the pool and get LP tokens, and then take the LP tokens and add them to our stash here. So over time, we're going to generate LP tokens here, uh, which eventually we can cash out. But uh, that that's why it's so much faster is because you get the compound interest instead of having to go in and manually uh, take out your rewards and uh, put them back in and all that stuff. Uh, this is going to do it automatically. So this is kind of just like you put it in here and then you can walk away uh, for as long as you want and then come back and it'll be you know there's just going to be more money there, which is crazy. So yeah, 100 you can make 162 uh, percent right now, uh, APY right now by depositing your LP tokens and your FDM boo spooky swap LP tokens into uh, reaper.farmcrypt. So it's pretty crazy. Um, so why don't we like go all the way back? Uh, so, oh yeah, this is something I have to mention here. So uh, when you, all right, first off they take a, you can see it up here, they take a little bit of a profit uh, for this service that they're doing. Um, but for the convenience, I, I would say it's worth it. Uh, also, when you withdraw, they will take a 0.1% um, fee out of how much you're withdrawing. So they're going to take like, get like 0.01 of our LP tokens. They're going to keep it uh, as a security assurance, I guess. Um, which in the grand scheme of things isn't a big deal because we're making 1% like every other day right now. Uh, so 0.1% is not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and undo this all. I'm going to show you guys how to get your tokens back and then um, how to turn it all back into Phantom uh, so that we can complete this whole thing. So let's click Max. We're going to take all of our LP tokens out of the, out of the vault or crypt on reaper.farm. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to boost up the fee a little bit. Man, it's getting high. They are really going hard right now. So once that's been withdrawn, we can go back over to uh, Spooky Swap and exchange our LP tokens for the tokens that we deposited into the liquidity pool. Still just waiting on them. Usually it's like instantaneous, but it seems like they're getting hit pretty hard, so. <sighs> just relax and let it go. Do you guys have any more questions you want me to answer while we're waiting? No one gives you CSV reports because no one cares where you're from. Uh, none of this, all of this is done 
through your address on Phantom. So there's no like taxing uh, or tax reporting stuff at all. All this is like, it, it, it's, I wonder if there's like an analogy I can make that would explain this, but it, it's like if you go into another country and you go to a, a vendor, like a street vendor in a second world country and you trade with them you like they bargain with you or something they they haggle and all that stuff and you 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 buy a shirt or something you think they're gonna they're gonna tell you like (laughs) i mean i mean it's not like they're gonna have your uh like very good reporting going out there that's just that's what this is not only do they not they don't care who you are they don't care where you're from uh and it's really powerful because of that uh there's no restrictions on using it which is great because the the way things are going right now is like the the government wants to reach restrict purchases and stuff like that so it's all for the best anyways uh we've gone ahead and withdrawn it it still shows it in here because the ui is a bit slow but uh, we have our lp tokens because the and i know that because our transaction has gone through so now that we have the lp tokens back uh, if we wanted to, we could like deposit it in this farm again. Here, here we you can see it's like 107 percent over there. It was 163 percent or something like that. Um, so it's advantageous to deposit in a vault. It kind of, it's kind of up to you, but uh, I think it's worth it. Anyways, uh, we have our LP tokens. I'm going to show you how to get our tokens back. So let's go back to the liquidity tab and then go over to the My Potions uh, page right here. And we can see our LP tokens in here. We're going to withdraw our LP tokens, all of them, and approve that. We're going to sign to approve. Now we're going to withdraw. Uh, just one second. I want to do it again. Oh, I have to approve it again. That's annoying. Now we withdraw. Not sure what approving does there, anyways. Okay, yeah. Let's do 220 just to be safe. Go through. So we're exchanging our LP tokens for the tokens that we deposited into the pool. It went through. Great. Super fast. Uh, so now we can go back to swap and we can see that, okay, we have our two and a half boo tokens here and we have our 50 or 49 phantom tokens uh and we're gonna swap back all of our boo into phantom so i'm gonna sell all of my boo tokens into phantom swap confirm wait depending how the network's doing I did 170, I should have used more. Oh, there it goes, that wasn't too bad. All right, so swapped, we're back in our Phantom uh, and we're just hanging out now. The reason this is lower, my Phantom's lower right now is because of all the fees I paid while doing this. Uh, Usually if you are going to be staking your tokens, you're not gonna be swapping them out every five minutes. You're just gonna let them sit there and uh, be provided as liquidity to the pool. Uh, so over time, you're going to generate a lot of interest. Uh, I don't, don't recommend just like throwing it in there for 10 minutes and then taking it out. It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, there's, there's no like issue with doing that. It's just, there's no benefit to doing it either. Um, the, you know, obviously the downside is any gas fees you have to pay, but honestly, the gas fees are still pretty low, even though they've gone up now I'm paying like what 30 cents for each transaction maximum. Uh, and 30 cents is like nothing when you compare it to uh, Ethereum, where you have to pay like 100 bucks at least for a swap. So yeah, it's much better. Also, they should go down in time. I think it's just that because of all the volatility at the moment, um, the fees have been going up, but they, they should go back down pretty soon. All right, any, any questions? I think that's all I'm gonna cover today for the most part. So if you guys have any questions, this is the time to ask them.
Yeah, so for all those transactions, I don't know how many, actually I can check how many transactions we did. Um, we did about 10 or 11 transactions here uh, and it cost us about, um, it cost us about four phantom, so four dollars for 10 transactions or 12 transactions, somewhere in there, so not too bad. Uh, usually it's cheaper than that, um, so, oh, also we had to swap a couple of times so there might be some slippage there although we don't have that many in tokens so <laughs> yeah I would say most of that was probably the transaction fees uh, beefy is beefy is fine I, I don't know how they calculate their APY uh, they're all very similar they should all be the same um, it's possible that beefy doesn't take out as high of a um, as high of a fee for doing the service I might have to go check on that now that you mention it but um they they may also include some of the uh, the, the trading fees, but I'm not sure if the Reaper Finance does not include the trading fees, so I'm not really sure uh, what the answer to that question is, but you did notice, so, so good job. Transfers aren't, are taking forever, probably because everyone's trying to use the network at the same exact time. They should go back to normal pretty soon. They're working on uh, the RPC servers and uh, getting more nodes up and just like making everything faster, increasing throughput and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, if, if you want your transaction to go through instantly, just pay more in gas. It's still like relatively negligible amount of gas. You just have to pay a little more to make it go faster right away. Um, all right. Well, if that's it, that's all the questions. Do I use Terra? <laughs> I do use Terra. I'm not gonna go over it today. I just started learning about Terra uh, like two days ago. I've got a bunch of money on there now. Um, and you can earn quite a lot in APY for lending on their platform. Usually for lending, you cannot make uh, too much uh, like on like on Aave or something like that. Uh, yeah, you make pretty low, I mean, relatively low APY, like maybe like 10% or something like that. But on uh, Terret, you can make you know, like 60% on your stable coins right now. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and I think that's because the people who have the money who usually lend just haven't figured that out yet. Uh, so if you're if you're fast, <laughs> you can get over there and start making some APY on Terret right now. Uh, before the big guys figure out that it's there. Do you know about Waka Finance? Um, I don't use Waka Finance. Uh, I don't know if they have that much liquidity there. They've been around for a long time, although they kind of uh, they they kind of um, had a botched launch. I think they rushed things really fast to make sure they came out at the same time that. Uh, Spirit Swap and Spooky Swap came out, um, and because they had rushed so hard, they kind of uh, they didn't do too well because of that. Will the veil? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how to do that quite yet. I would like to add it to my channel if I can. I, I recorded it, so uh, yeah, it might take a little while for me to figure it out and upload it, but I would like to get it added afterwards. Alrighty, guys. Well. Uh, it's been a pleasure showing you guys how to do this. I really I really think that even if you're still a little bit uh, skeptical that you go and try it out with a small amount of money because you can make really high returns doing this stuff. And it's just, uh, it's, it's all very new, um, especially on Phantom. Uh, so you can just make a lot of money being early on this stuff right now. And 
uh, it's, it's really cool, really cool stuff. So <laughs> I like using it. Um, and I like to see other people use it too. So um, I, don't, I don't really have anything to say about Scream. Uh, they're another land, lending platform. Uh, I, I talked to one of the guys and it seems like a pretty, like the team is pretty good. Uh, although I don't particularly, I, I don't use it. Um, although they seem like pretty good guys. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, charting spirit swap. Um, that's a good question. I think I have it up over here. This is Zoo Coin. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is uh, chart. Oh, man. It just got hit pretty, pretty hard. Must have been when Phantom shot up. Uh, but you can go to charts.zoocoin.cash. Uh, and this is this is what it looks like and you can like up here you can choose which coin you want to look at so let's do like phantom or something and there we go looks great and you can do all the different um, phantom dex coins in here that it'll, it'll have most of that stuff it's actually lagging pretty hard because right now the price on uh, Binance is like a dollar and six cents almost and here it says it's a dollar and two cents I'm not sure what's up with that but th this might be the actual price on spooky swap right now I don't know well anyways guys uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up so uh, thank you all for stopping by and watching and I might do another video soon it depends if there's anything worth doing a video on uh, I, I hope I was of some use to, to all of you in learning how to do this stuff um, and I encourage you to go try it yourself and have a great weekend.